Welcome, Nameless to Trailblazer, to Honkai Star Rail in D&D. I'm Zeo Striker, and I'll be the conductor guiding you through this build. Today's commission will be about the Merlin's Claw, Fei Shao. First, we'll pick Fei Shao's species, Asimar. This choice is significant as it grants Fei Shao dark vision, resistance to necrotic and radiant damage, healing hands, the light cantrip, draconic and dwarvish languages, and celestial revelation, which allows her to tap into her heritage to transform. Next is Faith Shell's background, which is Soldier. She'll gain a proficiency in Athletics, Intimidation, and Dragon Tress. Faith Shell will also get a plus 2 in Dexterity and a plus 1 in Wisdom. She also gets the feat Savage Attacker, which when she hits with a weapon, she can roll two sets of weapon damage and pick either of the two rolls for the damage. With that done, we can go on to Faith Shell's stats and go with Standard Ray. Her strength will be an 8, Dexterity will be a 15, Constitution is a 14, Intelligence will be a 10, Wisdom will be at 12, and finishing with a 13 in Charisma. After adding the bonuses from Soldier, Faishao will end up with a 17 in Dexterity and a 13 in Wisdom. To start things off, Faishao will be a Warlock. At level 1 Warlock, Faishao gets proficiency in History and Investigation. She also gets Eldritch Invocations and she'll pick up Pack to the Blade. This pack lets Faishao summon any simple or martial weapon she wants as a bonus action. She's proficient with said weapon and it can deal Necrotic, Psychic, Radiant, or its normal damage. She also gets access to spells, and here she'll pick up Cantrip's Booming Blade and Prestidigitation. She also picks up the first level spells Hex and Armor of Agathis. At level 2 Warlock, Faishao gets Magical Cunning. This lets her perform a right to regain half her Warlock spell slots once per long rest. Faishao also gets two more Eldritch Invocations. Here she'll get Armor of Shadows, which buffs her AC to 13, plus her Dexterity mod, and Fiendish Vigor gives her 12 temporary HP as an action. She also gets another first level spell, being Expeditious Retreat. Here at level 3 Warlock, Faishao gets the Archfey Patron as her subclass. She gets Step of the Fey, which allows her to cast Misty Step for free up to her Charisma modifier each day. When she casts Misty Step, she can choose herself or someone within 10 feet to gain temporary hit points, or when she teleports the enemies that were near her when she left, have to make a save or have disadvantage on attacks against anyone else. Archfey also gives Faishao Misty Step, Calm Emotions, Fairy Fire, Phantasmal Force, and Sleep as always prepared spells. She also gets access to level 2 spells and she'll pick up Shadow Blade. At level 4 Warlock, Faishao gets an ability score improvement, being Fey Touched. Fey Touched gives her another free use of Misty Step and the Bless spell, and a plus one to Charisma, making it a total of 14. She also gets another cantrip, being Mage Hand, and the second level spell, Mirror Image. Level 5 Warlock gives Fei Shao two more Eldritch Invocations. These will be Thirsting Blade, which lets her make an extra attack, and Eldritch Mine, which gives her advantage on con saves for concentration. Archfey also gives Fei Shao the spells Blink and Plant Growth. She also gets access to third level spells and will pick up Thunder Step. At level 6, Fei Shao's Step of the Fey evolves into Misty Escape. This allows her to turn invisible for a turn after using Misty Step or having those near her make a save or take psychic damage after casting Misty Step. She also picks up the spell Spirit Shroud. Now that we have a decent base, Fei Shao can jump over to Monk. At level 1 Monk, she gets Martial Arts. With this, when Fei Shao uses a simple or light martial weapon and isn't wearing armor, she can use a bonus action to make an unarmored attack and make it with Dexterity instead of Strength. She also gets Unarmored Defense, which makes it her AC 10 plus her Dexterity and Wisdom mod, but Shadow Armor from Warlock is still better. At level 2 Monk, Fei Shao gets Monk's Focus, Unarmored Movement, and Uncanny Metabolism. Monk's Focus lets Fei Shao use a Focus Point to enhance her Monk abilities. She can spend a point to use Flurry of Blows to make two unarmed attacks with her bonus action, Patient Defense lets her disengage as a bonus action, and she can use a point to disengage and dodge for the same bonus action. Or Step of the Wind where she can use a dash as a bonus action and spend a point to disengage, dash, and have her jump distance double. Unarmored Movement gives Fei Shao 10 extra movement speed when she wears no armor, and Uncanny Metabolism lets her at the start of her initiative regain all focus points and heal once per long rest. At level 3 Monk, Fei Shao gets Warrior of the Elements subclass. This gives her Elemental Attunement which lets her use a focus point to imbue herself with elemental energy for 10 minutes and during that time her unarmed attacks have a 10 foot reach and those attacks can be acid, cold, fire, lightning, or thunder damage rather than normal. Also, when she hits with those attacks, she can make the target make a save or be pushed or pulled towards her. 
Deflect attacks makes it so that when an attack hits her, she can use her reaction to reduce the damage, and if it's reduced to zero, she can redirect the attack back at someone. Then the subclass gives her an elementalism cantrip. At level 4 monk, Fei Xiao gets slow fall and an ability score improvement. Slow fall lets her use a reaction to reduce fall damage by 5 times her monk level. The ASI gives Fei Xiao a plus 1 in both dexterity and wisdom, making her dexterity an 18 and her wisdom a 14. At level 5 monk, Fei Xiao gets stunning strike and extra attack. Stunning strike lets her use a focus point to try and stun the target, but even if they don't, the target's movement is halved and the next attack has advantage against them. Extra attack sadly doesn't matter since she has Thirsting Blade from Warlock and that will get better later on. Level 6 Monk will be Fei Xiao's last level here and she'll get Empowered Strikes and Elemental Burst. Empowered Strikes now make all of her unarmed attacks either force damage or their regular damage. At the same time, Elemental Burst lets Fei Xiao summon a giant sphere of elemental damage to make enemies make a save to take damage on a fail or half on a success. Now that we are done with the monk, Fei Xiao jumps back over to Warlock. At level 7 Warlock, she picks up another Eldritch Invocation, this one being lessons of the first ones. This Invocation lets Fei Xiao pick an Origin Feat and she'll grab Tuck, which gives her 2 HP per level she has now and in the future, so at this point, an extra 26 HP per minute. Her subclass also gives her the spells Dominate Beast and Greater Invisibility, and she has access to level spores, and she'll pick up the spell Shadow of Moil. At level 8 Warlock, Fei Xiao gets another ability score improvement and will get a plus 2 to Charisma, making it 16. She also gets the spell Dimension Door. At level 9 Warlock, Fei Xiao gets another Eldritch Invocation, Contact Patron, and some Archfey spells. The Eldritch Invocation she picks up is Life Drinker, which when she hits with her packed weapon, she deals extra damage and can then spend Hit Point Die to heal. Contact Patron lets Fei Xiao communicate with her patron via the spell Contact Other Plane once a day for free and gets the spell to use like normal afterwards. Archfey gives her the spells Dominate Person and Seeming, and since she has access to 5th level spells, she picks up Far Step. At level 10 Warlock, Fei Xiao gets Beguiling Defenses. This makes her immune to charm effects, and when she takes damage, she can use her reaction to take half instead and have the person who hit her make a save or take the same amount she took. She can do that once a day, or use a spell slot to use it again. Fei Xiao also gets another cantrip, being Eldritch Blast. Level 11 Warlock gives Fei Xiao Mystic Arcanum, which lets her learn a 6th level spell, and can cast it once a day for free. The spell she'll pick up is Investiture of Wind, and she'll pick up the 5th level spell Teleportation Circle. Level 12 Warlock gets Fei Xiao her final Eldritch Invocation, and Ability Score Improvement. The last Eldritch Invocation will be Devouring Blade, which lets Fei Xiao make 3 attacks as an action instead of 2. And she'll gain a plus 2 to Charisma for her ASI, making her Charisma 18. At level 13 Warlock, Fei Xiao gets Mystic Arcanum again, but this time it gives her a 7th level spell to cast once a day for free. She'll pick Planar Shift for that, and she'll pick up another 5th level spell being Storm of Radiance. For Fei Xiao's final level in Warlock, 14, she gets Bewitching Magic, which allows her to use Misty Step for free as a part of the same action she uses to cast a leveled enchantment or illusion spell. And that concludes the Merlin's Claw of the Shen Xiao Fei Xiao. Thank you Trailblazer for watching this video and to complete the commission, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and share it for extra rewards too. But until next time, I wish you all a great morning, evening, or afternoon. Ciao ciao!